Hey guys, Tang95 here, and this is the MP5K. Um, on Grid, it is a demolition match, and it is Team Tactical. So, um, hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. It's not a bad game. I forgot how much I went, but my team ended up winning, so I guess that's a great game. Um, you can see Nick crawling up there. This is actually a dual com with Nick. Nick, say hello to the people of YouTube. Hello. Why did I pick up a FAMAS? I'm gonna try our. This game's pretty basic, you know, it's a demolition game. And I was playing on Grib not too long ago. Team Deathmatch, Team Tactical, basically the same thing. And Nick and I were playing, and it was just me and him and four other guys and the other team. And I was looking around, just looking and looking. We went actually three minutes, not even seeing the enemy team in no first blood. We ended up finding them all hiding in the back brush of Grid, laying on top of each other, waiting for their prey to come around the corner. Seeing this, I just had to say I hate Black Ops. We ended up rage quitting after a few minutes because these guys would just lay there and camp out their kill streaks, and it ended up me. I would kill them all with one, just one, um, one clip of magazine, because that's all it needed. Because they were all right on top of each other, and I actually took them out with a handgun at one time. They were cold-blooded and silenced weapons, and there were AK sent for you. So I don't even know what the hell was going on there. You know, where they're just having a little sleepover, slumber party in the back grid, just having fun. You know, that was just that was just insane. You know, and my team ended up losing because. Basically, they just kept on camping, and then they figured out, oh, wait, if we all land top of each other, it'll only take one guy to kill us all. So they ended up spreading out, but they kept on playing in the back of that map for that whole game. And that whole game, I was getting frustrated because no one wants to play with a bunch of just campers who sit in the woods. That's just not fun. And then, um, was it Nick? Yes, Nick, today you were playing a, f a free-for-all on Modern Warfare 2, is that correct? Yes. And... He was playing this free for all. He came out with a pretty good start. He came out in the lead, and what I that what we started noticing was a look. It looks like I have gold camo. I don't. That was actually dusty camo. What I actually started, he started noticing, and we both started pond wondering about this. Is we saw these guys. We were like, "What's happening?" And we found them. And they were camping. They were not just camping. They were boosting with tactical insertions and everything. And that ended up. They got all these kill streaks, AC-130, pave lows. I'm a boosting expert. They brought in the works, and Nick, he, I was like, Nick, you might as well just rage quit, because you're not going to win. But Nick battled it out. He kept on in this throughout their kill streaks. And these, you know, two boosters, guess what? They lost. Nick came back and won it. It was the most epic clutch performance gameplay I've ever seen in Free For All. And he came back with the M4A1, and he clutched that win. Which, against boosters in free-for-all, usually you're going to lose that battle. But guess what? He won that battle, and he came back strong. And I hate yeah, boosters. That was the most epic, epic performance I've ever seen out of him in a few months, actually. Look, at, I'm actually camping. I'm protecting the objective. Sure you were. <laughs> That's objective gameplay. Objective camp on YouTube, camping. Uh, on YouTube, you see all these YouTube commentators and stuff. All the big ones, too. And you see their gameplays on Black Ops and any Call of Duty game, and you're like, you know, playing Domination, and you're like, wow, they're just going for kills. They're not even playing the objectives. They're not defending, and they, not all of them do that. You know, you see Gold Glove, he'll capture, he'll capture positions. He's a very, um, you know, objective game player. But um, oh yeah, I just missed that. But I'll plant that bomb again, hopefully. Oh, I should have had that. But, um, that's the problem with YouTube. All the commentators, they, all these great, great gameplay they butt up, none of it actually is objectively game played, and I don't think that's fun. I don't want to watch somebody who doesn't care about his team. Look at that. Oh, yeah, he just got wound. But, um, I don't want to see a commentator play for 10 minutes just getting killed. I actually want to see them going for the objective, because just because you can get kills doesn't mean you're a great player. A great player is also a great team player. If you can play as a team, then that's great. But if you're only going to want kills, go for free for all because no one wants to play with you. You said play so many times in a couple of seconds. It's just player, play. You know what? That's a great word, and that's the, that's the favorite word. If you're going to take anything away from this video, it is don't camp with cold-blooded and suppressed weapon. If anything, if you're going to run that, run around with it and rush, okay? And another thing you should take away is the word of the day, which is play player, play, playa, whatever you want to go with it. 
roll with that. Pretty okay? sure that's a better adjective. Okay, now calm down. I think I played the objective very well. And a few times in this game, you're gonna witness me actually stand there aiming down sight on doorways. And that's a, mainly why is because Nichols. I uh, on this actually had. Wait, I had a care package. No, I had napalm, mm -hmm. sentry gun, and blackbird. Maybe. Yeah, I, I'm always changing it up, but um, and it also changed it up for me for some odd reason. But um. Hey, look! There's me dying. Oh yeah, there's me dying. You see, when I'm aiming down doorways for just some random reason, that that's mainly because Nicholas he is either planting a bomb, defusing a bomb, or doing an objective game, and I'm just trying to protect him out. Oh, look at that guy, look at that guy, look at that guy, what an idiot. Oh, he died because the bomb exploded. What a shame. It's always sad to see a guy die from a bomb they could have ran away from. Alright, now Nick's going to talk to you about his playing and what guns he likes to use in Black Ops. Tell him, Nick. Okay, um, my first gun was my that was my favorite right when Black Ops came out was the Galil. I used it with suppressor. I don't know how many times. And then I played some zombies, found out the HK-21 was pretty good. So I used that. Then I kind of didn't really like it anymore, went back to the Galil. Then from the Galil, I went to a stakeout. And then from a stakeout, um, I went to an FAL, which you'll see in later gameplay. And then I went from the FNFAL to uh, M16. And the funny part is, in Modern Warfare 1, I mean Modern Warfare 2, sorry, um, the M41 was the first assault rifle, and I beasted it up. And, well, it's the first assault rifle, the M16, so I just tried it out, and I'm pretty good with it. Alright. Nick does like to use a lot of the first assault rifles, and an M41, right when Modern Warfare 2 came out, was probably one of the most underrated guns, I thought in Modern Warfare 2, and then now you're seeing it come back into popularity because people are actually giving the gun a chance, and I think that's great because the gun really does deserve, oh there's a double boys, get some, get some, yep, there we go, and then in Black Ops he started off with the M16 and the Galil, and now we're back to the FAL, and back to the M16, and they're both great guns, the FAL is probably one of the more underrated Black Ops assault rifles in my mind. Um, if you put a suppressor on it, and maybe even Warlord, you can rock Warlord with Red Dot. It's great for long range maps like Hazard and Grid. And even, um... Hazard? Yes, Hazard is the new map pack for uh, oh, yeah. Xbox, which I don't have yet. And it's also very good for uh, Discovery. And those three maps alone, in any type of wide open map, that's great for it. So, I definitely recommend using the FAL, and the M16 is just as good. <laughs> So I would definitely recommend using both of those, and and stadiums are pretty much open map too, I believe anyway. So um, on this channel you will be seeing more Black Ops as I get back into Black Ops. I'm trying to get back into Black Ops. Maybe been, some zombies. I've been off Black Ops for pretty much like basically like a few weeks now, just playing Modern Warfare too. But I'm kind of getting Black back into it because guess what? Black is back. No, this is not a song. This is real life. Well, no, Black Ops. I'm. Um, trying to get back into it because I hear the new maps that are coming out is going to be amazing you got Hangar 18 mm -hmm. Hazard um, I don't know the rest Shangri-La um, this is the Shangri -La, new zombie yes the new zombie map that's supposed to be like a nuke town of zombies we'll see what happens oh drive-in and drive-in drive-in looks pretty good you know I go to drive-ins every so often there's not a lot around here anymore and it tell people why drive-ins are so fantastic and why they should come back well, drive-ins, you just, normally people just watch movies. Or just do whatever they please in them. But mostly for movies. And, well, basically drive-ins are awesome. I mean, I'm probably going to go to a drive-in soon. And I'm probably going to watch two movies. Alright, the thing about drive-ins is you get to watch two movies, not just one. And Nick, how is that better than a movie theater? Because you get one... You know, a movie theater is pretty expensive nowadays, you know, the popcorn. Why is the drive-in better? Is it, can you purchase stuff, or can you bring stuff in? You can bring stuff in. And that's just great, because I know every time I go to a uh, movie theater, I'm just spending money. I don't think they can hear you, just to tell you, because yeah. you're kind of far away from the mic. Alright. Well, um, look at that, look at that. I just, this guy is so bad. Look at this, look at this. 
Long range, but wait, it's not that C4. You know, when I go back to actually watch my full gameplays, hey, I actually you. notice everything I missed. Like, the one time there was actually a guy running alongside me in this video, and I came back upon that, and I was like, what am I doing? I don't know why I didn't kill him. And I think that's the good thing also about having your gameplay here, is so you can see that. This is kind of an awkward silence moment. Um, wait, look! Kill. We all love kills, don't we? Well, I just have to say one thing. Kind of the stakeout reminds me of the striker. Not because it starts with S. Um, but it's just not every um, shot is one kill. It's not like one shot, one kill. So, that's why it kind of reminds me. I put hardened on the stakeout, so... Alright guys, in the next few um, weeks, you'll be seeing some more shotgun clips from Modern Warfare 2. And secondary clips, I promised you guys I'd put some more up, and it, I got some decent response for it. So what you're going to be seeing, you're going to be seeing a lot of the Ranger. I'm, when I get dual akimbo for that, I'll show you guys that, and I'll show you why it's such a great weapon to have in your arsenal. <laughs> and we're also just gonna have some um I'm trying to get some double A twelve and the spaz is gonna be the last gun. And I've been trying to work with the Rafika, but I don't know. Now Nick, why don't you tell people why you like the M forty one so much from Modern Warfare two? Um, I just love the M forty one. It doesn't have that much recoil like some other guns. Like you see, um Tan, name a sniper that has tons of recoil on MW two. Uh I guess you could go with Barrett fifty cal. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty decent one. Bert 50 Cal is supposed to be one shot, one kill. It is most of the time. With yeah, FMJ. It, it is. It is. But with the M4E1, it's also an assault rifle, so you can get, like, double kills, um, triples, and quads, even. What I started to use, and I know this might seem weird, but in Modern Warfare 2 first came out, I never even touched the UMP45. I really didn't. I tried it out a little bit. But everybody was using it, and I was like, you know what, I'm not going to be a tryhard. But now, you know what, I'm good with it. I've been using it a lot. I put on FMJ, it's like three bullets to a kill. And probably the weirdest thing you've ever heard. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, that looks nice. I, I put, um, I actually put a suppressor, because I like to feel like I'm running around, you know, not vulnerable, and no one knows I'm there. I think that's a great plus to it. But I also like putting FMJ on it, so I do keep that you know, six bullet kill, and that's really nice, you know, few bullet kills, and I get tons, and I still feel like I'm invulnerable, like no one knows I'm there, and I think that's a good thing about the MP45, it is such a great weapon to get doubles and triple kills, especially when no one knows you're there, and that's, you know, that's just fantastic. So, um, this gameplay was pretty much my teammate was wrecking, and I kind of just cleaned up whatever was left over. I died a lot of times. And Nick died tons of times, so. But I'm an objective player when it comes to objective base games. If you want to win a, a game that's objectively, you want Nick on your team. If you want to play Team Deathmatch, you don't want him on your team. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just have one thing. If you have C4, and you're playing, like, one of the Search, search and Destroy, Sabotage, maybe even Demolition, you kind of want to angle the C4, I've done a couple times, angle the C4 and place it in s between the bomb. And it really works. So much in this game, I forced the other team to spawn out here. I'm running solo all across the grounds, and I know they're around here, I know they're spawning here. And my chopper gunner fellow up there, my teammate, is kind of directing me towards them, whoever's left over anyway. So that's what I kind of did most of the end of this game. Because when my teammate was up there, I just forced their spawns and... Did you that's just pretty much what die happened. an enemy? No, it was you. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't fit. Colorblind. I'm not colorblind! Well, you might be. Alright, in Modern no, Warfare 2, not. Nick was actually a really good player. Black Ops, he never kind of adjusted. Oh, look at me being objective. So, you know, defending that position right there. You know what I hate? People that think they're a Grizz. But look at that. I got, I got a hit marker on that. Whatever. You know, whatever, Black Ops. Look at oh, that. That guy was range. just sitting there and... You know what? I still... Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you, whoever cleaned up my mess. Was that me? Nope. That was the guy who got, like, 80 kills. I thought it was 60. <laughs> oh my god, look at that flash, flash bang. I still came through on that. You might see some ballistic knives, too. 
Because ballistic, you give me anything that has steel, knives, tomahawks, ballistics, you're gonna die. What do you only use me, Blade? Maybe. Alright, only use me, Blade, is another YouTuber, and he only uses Blades as he, as you do. And I don't really know if that's smart, because I don't really know. I mean, it's very, you know, entertaining, but I don't know if you really. Oh, look at that. I was trying to use my knee palm, and I kind of just failed miserably. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You got that right. I didn't really hit any of my high kill streaks in this game, but I'm gonna release some few games later this week that are all high kill streaks. And a few uploads ago, I did a um, a random tomahawk. I was playing search. I come up and I just throw it, and I didn't know anybody was there. I actually really didn't. It was just the most random throw. Was it cross map? Like, not really. It was like 30 feet away, but you, I didn't even know a guy was there. I threw it, I hit him, and it was just really up. Oh, look at that double! Get some! There's my another napalm. Oh, yeah, calling it in. I took guys.